Hello and welcome. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul communicator and growth mentor. And today I wanted to explore the Ten of Cups card with you in the tarot deck and explore it in maybe a little bit of a different kind of way. So let's first look at the Ten of Cups card. I have a couple different decks here. This is the Druid Craft. This is the Emmy Brady Tarot. So in both of them, we have four figures, you can see the two kingfishers, two baby kingfishers, two parents and two children. That's on both cards, two parents, two children. And if you're familiar with the Rider Waite Tarot, you know it's two parents, two children. So happy kind of domestic scene. Now, what I really like to do is I like to listen to songs and I like to associate them with different cards in the tarot. It's just a little fun kind of game I play with myself. So my song for Ten of Cups is Danny's Song by Loggins and Messina. So if you haven't heard Danny's song, go to the description, click on the link, and listen to it quick before listening to the rest of this video. So what I love about this song is that it encapsulates so many of the concepts inherent in these Ten of Cups cards. So the, the song was written to celebrate and kind of, um, yeah, I'll just say celebrate the birth of one of the two musicians, brother's son. Okay, that was a bit convoluted. Let's try that again. The brother of one of the musicians was expecting a child and they wrote this song to kind of commemorate and celebrate that feeling of starting to create a family from scratch, a new family beginning or a new beginning. And the chorus of this song is so great, you know, even though we ain't got money, I'm so in love with you, honey, and everything will bring a chain of love. So it's, we don't have, we're not concentrating on the material foundation of our family. We're trying to create our family based on love. And because of that, we know this is going to be an awesome family. We know this is going to be a great experience. It, the chorus continues in the morning. When I rise, bring a tear of joy to my eyes and tell me everything's going to be all right. So everything's going to be all right because they're building this family from love. And when we look at the Ten of Cups card, we think of bliss, we think of contentment, we think of happy families, and we think of strong emotional bonds. And that's the essence of that song by Loggins and Messina, that true families are built on strong emotional bonds, not the material ones so much. Now, I want to show you a little contrast here if we look at Ten of Pentacles cards from these decks. Same kinds of things. We've got birds here and we've got people here, but the essence of connection is much different, isn't it? If you look at here, they're really not touching. They're facing each other, but not touching. These ones, they're not touching and they're not facing each other. So I'll hold up all four so you can kind of see. There's much more emotional connection going on here. Much more, much less emotional emo <laughs> connection going on here. And then kind of the same with their counterparts in the middle. So I just love listening to that song because it really puts me in that mind of letting go of the considerations of money and focusing on the, those feelings of emotional bonds and love. So if you're reading for yourself or if you're reading for someone else, this way of looking at it can possibly bring another dimension to your own reading. I really think this is a little side note. It's really important that you make your own associations with tarot cards. If you're a reader, you don't want to just go by the standard or what's in the book. You've got to make it personal to make it powerful. The other fun thing, this is kind of an Easter egg, but the kind of fun thing about this Ten of Cups and Loggins and Messina's Danny's song is that the astrological sign of the baby that's born is actually mentioned in the song. It goes by kind of fast, and, but you have to like catch it. And I'm not going to tell you what sign it is, but I will say it's a water sun sign. So that's even more significant because water and cups, right? Water and cups are the same in, in this deck. So it's kind of funny even that little thing, the product of this relationship that's built on love is more love and more emotional connection. Okay, 
So I hope this is a fun little exercise for you. I'm going to release a few more of these videos as the associations come to me, but I'd love to hear from you what you thought and if you have other songs that you like to associate with different tarot cards. I will look forward to seeing you next time. Be sure to stay tuned the rest of this month for the sun sign reading slowly trickling out. I'll see you next time.